Hey guys, I am Courtney B and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are an oldie, thank you so much for clicking on this video and for always supporting your girl. If you guys are new to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss an upload from me. In today's video, going along with revamping and DIYing all the things in my house, I'm standing in my, it's my guest bathroom, but it's also my kids bathroom. So this is the bathroom that they use. And I am going to be giving this a little bit of an update. I'm gonna DIY some things and I'm gonna keep up with the farmhouse theme. So that is what today's video is all about. I've had all of this stuff for years and it just doesn't go along with my theme anymore. So I am gonna be taking everything down and then DIYing pretty much the majority of the things that I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna redecorate everything for you guys. And I also wanted to let you guys know that everything will be renter friendly. So if you guys wanna see what all I do, just keep on watching. All right, guys, so I am outside right now, and I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be um, DIYing some little customized bath signs. So that's why I am out here right now. My husband went ahead and pre cut everything for me. Uh, the trim and this right here is all scrap wood. Um, and then this was wood that my husband had purchased from Lowe's a long time ago, and it's just been sitting in our garage. So I am going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to stain the trim and I am going to go ahead and paint these white because um, I want like a ship a ship lap sign or a ship lap looking sign. So that's what I am going to be doing with this and I'm going to stain this also. All right guys, so I believe I told you guys that I was going to go ahead and paint these. I'm actually going to stain this because I'm going to use this as shelves for my bathroom. And I'm actually not going to tell you guys the stain color that I'm going to choose. If you guys already know my absolute favorite stain color, leave it down below in the comments. That's the stain color that I am using. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on staining. guys so now that I got everything stained and painted it is now time for me to go ahead and attach um, the trim to my little uh, picture so that's what I'm about to do right now I got my sides all put on so now it's time for me to go ahead and put the vinyl on my picture and I went ahead and brought out my hair dryer because I have a feeling that this is going to give me a really hard time because this is a very textured surface and I feel like my vinyl is not going to stick 
So that's a little tip. I know um, some people probably will use a heat gun, but I do not have a heat gun, so I'm just gonna use what I have, which is a hair dryer. All right guys, so it is the next day and I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be doing like a little tray for my soap and also I want to make something to hold my tissue. So I had my husband go ahead and pre-cut some wood for me and he went ahead and sanded everything down. So this is actually going to be the holder for my soap. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I am going to go ahead and put some little, um, legs on it and this was left over from when I did my uh, DIY farmhouse table centerpiece so I am going to use these for the bottom of it so oh and then this right here is the wood that my husband pre-cut for me um, for my tissue so I am just going to go ahead and get started on putting everything together and then I'll go ahead and stain. Alright guys, so I have these cute little jars that I picked up from the store and um, I am wanting to put cotton balls and q-tips in these so I am going to go ahead and paint the tops on these so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. I'm going to paint these like a matte black color so I'm going to put these off to the side but I also picked up this little, looks like a little mason jar and I am going to go ahead and put hand soap in this. So only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in it because I am gonna reuse this little um, foam pump. I got this off of one of my dial um, foam dispensers and I no longer need it because I'm finished with it. So I am gonna go ahead and reuse that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out my hole.
All right, guys, so I wanted to let you guys know that I did go ahead and make some labels for my jars. So that is what I'm about to do right now. Then also, I wanted to let you guys know that um, for this little this little basket, I am just gonna go ahead and, and attach some chicken wire to it. So that's what I am about to go ahead and get started on. Alright guys, so now that I'm finished putting on the labels on the drawers and I'm finished with the basket, now it is time to go ahead and get started on decorating here in the bathroom. So I wanted to let you guys know I went ahead and took all of the pictures off of this wall and then I had my husband go ahead and pre-drill holes in the wall for me because I am going to go ahead and put um, the little towel rack right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on decorating. Alright guys, so it has been a few days later and I finally got everything all decorated. So I wanted to show you guys how the bathroom turned out. So first up, I will start with the signs that I decided to make. And I absolutely love how they came out. I did have a little bit of trouble um, trying to get the vinyl to stick onto this wood for some reason. So just a little tip, if you guys have trouble, try using a hair dryer or a heat gun if you have it. I did not have a heat gun, so I used the next best thing, which was my little hair dryer. And the heat allowed me to be able to transfer the vinyl onto the surface. So I just decided to use the words soak, relax, brush your teeth, it's over on the side, and then also wash your hands. And it came out really good. So next up, I'll let you guys know about my next thing that I decided to make. I wanted to do a little towel rack and I decided to do that off camera. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know this is just some scrap wood that we had left over. I decided to stain it in the color sun bleached and I wanted to add some hooks on it so that the girls can hang their towels. So yeah, I love how that turned out as well. So next up, I move right along to our little trash can. And this was actually made out of um, old pallet wood and I decided to stain it in my absolute favorite stain color. So I think that complements the wood tones perfectly. And then from there, I just decided to purchase a black and white shower curtain because that's pretty much all of the colors that I have going on in this bathroom. And I also wanted to let you guys know these hooks, they actually came with the shower curtains. So right now it's like this little chrome color, but it does not match or silver color. It doesn't match. So I'm thinking about painting those like a matte black. Comment down below and let me let me know if you guys think that I should paint that. But I do think I'm going to do that in the future. So from there, I'll move along to this side. And I absolutely love these two shelves. They are super, super heavy. And I just love like all of the imperfections. You guys already know that. But I wanted to let you guys know what I decided to add to it to decorate. So I had already had this glass vase and I had already had the little flowers. So I decided to just put that on the top shelf. Then from there, I decided to make like a little basket for our, our extra tissue rolls. And that's just made out of chicken wire, um, out of wood that we had left over, scrap wood, and then also some rope. So I like how that turned out too. And then from there, I just decided to use my Cricut to make some labels for my Q-tip and my cotton balls jar. And then also I had this um, little decor piece. I think this came from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm not sure, but I had already had it on hand and I just decided to put it in here because I was not using it. And then I had already had these balls left over as well. So 
I like that too. And then last but not least, um, I just decided to um, just like make a little, um, what is this, like a little holder for my soap. And I decided to go ahead and stain that as well. Just a simple candle and then two white towels. Then I decided to make this little foam uh, soap dish, or not soap dish, this little foam soap container. I just used um, a jar, a mason jar, and then also I decided to um, use one of my old pumps that I had on a previous soap um, dispenser. And I just decided to spray paint that matte black so that it will match the colors. And yeah, I think it came out really good. Y'all comment down below and let me know if you guys like how this turned out. Oh, and then also I want to let you guys know I do have over here on this wall my other sign. Um, that's part of my little set that I made. It just says brush your teeth. But that's it guys. It's really simple and all of this stuff is renter friendly options. So I absolutely love my little guest bathroom or the girls bathroom. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.